Hello, welcome to episode 40 of the Midway region. We're here in uh, what's going to be a basically residential city. Um, just laying out the roads again. We did a lot of streaming over the weekend, so if you're a new subscriber or follower or whatever you want to call it on whatever service, thank you for subscribing or following or whatever, and uh, I hope you continue to enjoy what I do. So we're going to zone this other side of the road here. And then make sure what we got going on. Wind is going this way. So this is going to be mostly residential, but some industrial along the edge. And we want to get about a tree length away. We'll do the same type of zoning that we did, or uh, road layout that we did on the other side. And of course, we'll re-examine these connections uh, as we go. Why did I do on this side? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Just trying to decide what the best way is to hook this up. And I may just uh, may just have to do like I did on this side and, and curve it up into the other thing. It's okay. Make it work. Not like we don't have money to work with. Besides, we should be making something that looks pretty nice and is very high density. It's pretty close. Let's give it just a little bit more. And then let's see what we're working with up here. Looks like quite a bit of room, actually. Enough to build three, but I don't think we, we would actually be able to fit a road in here. Let's try. Yeah, if we were to put a road right there, yeah, that would be too close for this. <laughs> and it's just a little bit too close. Oh, and this has some sort of weird wave to it. I don't know what happened there. There we go. <laughs> what I really should do. Mostly because it's bothering me is move this railroad over just a little bit.
so that the corner, there we go, matches the corner of the other row. Oh, it's not quite there. I thought it was. Really? We're off by that much. it over again. I know we just replaced this like three times. Nearly in the same spot. But I would like this to just come up to an intersection, but it doesn't want to play nicely. And it still wants to pull way out to the side. use that. Put it like there. Alright. That I can live with. Curving the end of the road just a little bit. There. That ought to work. Oops. Okay, so... Back to this road. I still don't like that completely, but we'll work on it. Um, suppose we can do something like put our services up here or something to that effect. That would work. We'll deal with this road for now. We'll figure it out in a little bit. There we go. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> Seriously? You can give me crazy intersections now. Didn't mess up this road, did I? No, not really. I mean, a little bit, but it's not. Alright. This friggin' game sometimes. Why does it keep wanting to give me this bogus intersection? There. Now let's see where we have these connected. Because I don't, I mean, I mean, the most amount of connections that are going to happen are going to happen on this road. So, people, it, this road is going to be busy, but then people can get off it to go up to this road, or they can get off it to do this, and they can always use this to get out of town. So, like, I, I try to do, like, a three-way thing <laughs> to get that going, just to make it interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm looking at this, and I think I'm going to want...
<laughs> Cyclone Kermit. Yeah, this game is perfect the way it is. <laughs> I, yeah, far far from it. Um, but that's a good thing. It's always good to, to develop and work on things. So, But I think I'm going to start from the outside over here and do three wide. And then whatever's left, we'll make a, a row. And hopefully that won't connect, but still be relatively centered. You can sell me tips. Um, Max Darlson, if you know tips that I don't know by now with my 800 and some odd hours of playing this game, not to mention having watched nearly every <laughs> uh, SimCity YouTube video uh, there is, then um, you should be selling them for yourself. Because <laughs> I've, I've pretty much read any encyclopedia if there ever were one created on SimCity. <laughs> yeah, and this I always wanted to fix too. Sorry, what was your point that Battlefield 4 strengthens there, Kermit? Yes, I've watched all of Skystorm's SimCity videos. I haven't watched, watched his banished stuff. Oh, the DA games are perfect? Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that one. I have uh, I have faith in the modding community, however, which is what I know that Maxis is going to open this up to. And I say Maxis because I tend to believe that it's more the actual folks at, at you know <laughs> Maxis that decided to do that rather than EA. Um, EA just kind of let them. That's kind of my point, Max Darlson. You make your own tips from analyzing stuff in real time. I built the stuff you're analyzing, so I have a feeling I have a better handle on the subject. And I don't need to buy your tips, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see. This is going to be... That was like four from the center... So what if I do, hmm, what if I do the same over here? I do threes to give it just a little bit different of a traffic pattern. <clears throat> oh yeah, Cyclone, I, I, even though I can't read tone of voice in text uh, on chat, I, I totally got that with sarcasm. Yeah, Battlefield 4 and SimCity, super buggy. You have to agree with me, though, that they, I mean, putting out, like, a patch a month, basically, barring the last patch, the latest patch, whenever it comes out, <laughs> they've been doing pretty good to keep up on bugs and stuff. I really think they should have held off on Cities of Tomorrow until we got an actual relatively flawless game, but, you know. Hello, Tommy. So, let's do that here. Kermitopia. What are you, oh, are you, you're playing uh, SimCity in the, uh, the Streaming Gorge region?
That's right. I yeah, I invited you. Actually, I forgot some of the people that I invited. But yeah, excellent. Um, I will have to come do. I'll, I'll have to do a region tour of that, um, and, and make a highlight out of it. Of you know, just like a, a total region tour of that that streaming one. Hmm. Union road grade too steep. There we go. And then we're not too close to that intersection. Well, that's two completely different things, Tommy. If you want to get SimCities and Cities of Tomorrow, that's the I mean the value of that is uh, approximately at, I don't know sixty American dollars seventy American dollars something like that right now, and an iPhone five C is like three hundred dollars off contract. So I mean <laughs> if you're talking relative worth five C and then go sell it and go buy like six copies <laughs> of of SimCity and Cities of Tomorrow. But if you don't have a phone, I would say that a phone is much more useful uh, of a thing to have than SimCity. Now, what does that leave us with over here? Is that four? I would be stoked if that was four. Two. Nope, three and a smidge. But that's okay. Oops. I don't normally play in windowed and once in a while, like I just did, I'll grab the the, the windowed mode, or the, the, the window of the screen, and I'm trying to drag the screen around and stuff. Oh, that comes in a little close. I might not actually connect that. And this, if I shorten this up, will connect straight in. Like that. And I may leave that corner just so I can get maximum density in there. Here's what you do, Tommy, is since your parents are paying for it, get an Android phone, since uh, I think you'll enjoy that a little bit more, um, seeing as how you're more technically inclined. And uh, your parents will spend half as much on it and tell them to get you SimCity as well. Twofer. So then the only thing is, do I do anything in here? And I don't think I do. So now, we need to do this. And I don't think I'm going to be able to pull that off on that side. Hmm. We'll see here what, what I can do. I think that's too close, though. Yeah. So, maybe I can do it this way. I don't think it's going to like that either. No.
So then what do we do? All right, what we do is we move this road. Since we know it's not going to work for there. And I think if we make this, let's not even do a par uh, park length. Let's actually do a, uh, a guide length. Let's see. It's the far one. And then we should be able to do this. There. Just like I know what I'm doing. Okay, and then we'll connect these janky little ends. I'm going to do the same on this side. There we go. <coughs> I still don't like this, but I can't do a lot about it. And I like it better than having the extra tab of road over here, so... What are you going to do? Get rid of those guides is what I'm going to do. That's why I play with them off most of the time, because they just get in the way. Oh, really? This one won't go? Should be the same distance. Hmm. Why is... Oh! Because I'm stupid. That's not how I did it the first time. Well, if you really want an iPhone, the 4S is good as well. Or even just the five. If you're getting instead of getting a five C, the five is actually basically the same phone. But I don't think they sell it anymore. I think they stopped selling the five and start, just switched to the five C. There. That's that's why. Oh. So we can get a little bit better road into there. That's better. Let's see if we can do the same over here. <laughs> too many roads stacked up. I can't grab the one I'm trying to delete. Nope, there it is. Slightly better. Alright. So we're going to try that traffic pattern out. And then the question becomes, what do I do with this little tail? Because these middle roads are all going away. And so then, I guess I just delete it like I did on the other side and leave it. So that should, that should look like a nice little city. Once we grow it, obviously we still have a little ways to go. Now, I don't believe that I'll be able to fit a... Yeah, there, there's no way I can even squeeze one in there. But... I 
do have the trees anywhere mod which if you don't know what that is it's just like the roadside trees these ones to let you place a tree on the side of the road much like so which by the way you can bulldoze if you can get you can get to a point where it's not wanting to click the road there you go you can bulldoze those trees um, it's just like that except like the name suggests you can place them anywhere hey plank and German good to see you um, foresight in making cities that is kind of a just I, I guess it's some some foreknowledge like I like I've done this a bunch of times so here before I start doing this one I just wanted to make something that look kind of cool with this city so that's what I started with is just kind of making it a fun design um, but two think about traffic patterns and giving them choices you know the first the first time that they get to a choice in this city is right here so they have this entire strip here to help act as a valve um, to this to this exit which as we know if they all want to go you know to the left or something they all want to go the same friggin direction <laughs> then they all pile down into one lane and nobody goes anywhere so th this long strip here will help that so but the first choice they get to is either a right or straight and that's perfect because we like right turns so we'll have a whole bunch of right turns here or they'll go straight and they can go underneath or they'll go over the top Either way, they go all the way along here, and they either come out here, or they come out here. And again, it's a choice. You go left or right. And for this one, it doesn't matter. I just made something artistic, because they're just going to exit right onto here and start having choices to go left or right to get out into into here. They have four choices, or actually six, because I forgot about the two in the middle, to, to get into the rest of the area. So hopefully, I mean, that helps you a little bit. It just avoid four-way intersections, because the the logic that SimCity uses isn't that great um, as we've all learned and um, just try to give them two-way choices if you can you know like that's also three-way intersections right where you can have a left or a right you know and so on and so forth um, well like this I, I gave them different levels to get to different areas so that hopefully they'll be less busy so this road they can go all the way here it's, we'll, we'll see if it works out. But oh, hey, leets noobs. Anyway, let's place some uh, let's place some trees anywhere stuff in the middle here because we want this to look nice. So we're gonna make our own little tree filled median with uh, what do we want here? Shade tree, swaying tree, rustling tree. Just doing what should shade trees look like? That looks nice. So we'll do one of these every kind of wherever we can. As long as they don't overlap each other, it'll let us place one. <laughs> Thanks, Lead Snoobs. There are some hard corners, but those were chosen on purpose. Because I wanted to make sure that we actually get a full, you know, like three or four high density buildings in a in a strip of land. And usually, if you just have a, a hard corner instead of an you know and, and not a, a a curve, it's not as fast as a curve, but it's not that bad. So I can live with it. Just like I can live with these trees not all being perfectly center in this strip, but they fill it up pretty well. And of course you delete these the same way you delete the other ones, just bulldoze them. And this is more of a visual mod than anything else. Oh, 
And what I did here too is I really did kind of create. If I could make one-way roads with them, I, I might. I didn't really scope that out because I've kind of just forgotten about trying to use one-way roads. <laughs> but um, I, I did kind of create a, an extra wide avenue here with these two highways, or you know, two yeah, two high-density roads. Man, I made this really long. <laughs> I didn't realize I made it that long. Wish I could time lapse real life. That'd be helpful. Of course, I do it at work all the time. Collapse, you know, eight hours. Well, for me, you know, nine hours work into uh, forty-five minutes or so. That'd be cool. Then it'd be like watching a TV show. Because hour-long episodes are really only forty-two minutes once you cut out the commercials. There. That looks a lot better than dirt. Now we gotta do it on this side real quick. Hopefully I can do it a little faster. I will try. Montage. We need a montage. Montage. <laughs> what is that, uh, Team America? Yeah. Slow fade out in the montage. I sure did see the hoverboard video, and then I also saw um, Christopher Lloyd's response to it, which was equally hilarious. Yeah, I could totally tell that there were harnesses on those people, just the way that they hovered. It's just like, you know, watching Big Bang Theory. Howard didn't really go up in space. You can totally tell he's wearing a harness. But that's okay, because it's, it's a TV show. Like, I... I let that slide because I let part of my imagination do it. It's just like watching plays on stage. Like if you've ever seen a, a stage play, you know, you have to imagine some of it. Otherwise, it's, it's no fun. And the actors are merely there to assist your imagination. So as long as you treat TV that way, I think it's much more fun. Of course it's a fake. Go, go look at Christopher Lloyd's response video. It's hilarious. I, I don't know what the YouTube link is offhand. Just, you know, Google it. Almost done with trees. Nope, come on. And one more. All right, much better. <laughs> Next, you'll tell me Santa Claus is fake. Hey, don't ruin my dreams. Um, let's also place a few trees while we're in here, especially in places that we know. Oh man, I'm gonna want to put. I'm gonna want to use the trees anywhere in the middle here too. Maybe I don't know. I was hoping it would fill up with grow, grown trees, but... Oh. Let's speed up just a little bit real quick here. These trees grow in better that way. Oh, and while we're at it, let's turn these off so we're not wasting money. Oh yeah, see there's the link to the, the the hoverboard one. And I guarantee you one of the suggested videos for that is the Christopher Lloyd response being like, I cannot believe it was fake. It was hilarious. He's a, he's a, he's a great actor. Alright. 
Now the question is, what do we do over here? Because which way does the wind blow here? That way. Okay, so we could put our garbage and stuff over here. The reason we don't have hoverboards, everybody, it's the same reason we don't have hover cars. Technology does not exist. Magnets don't work, it's too hard to control. The closest that we've gotten is quantum locking, which requires lots of um, cooling and, and superconductive material. I'm saving up to pre-order two of them. Uh, Alright, Leeds Noobs. I'm also making a coin. It's called Tinvet Coin. Do you want to buy some? <laughs> oh, one other thing we didn't decide on this city is what its wealth level is going to be. It looks like we really just need we need a lot of low wealth, it looks like, in the region. I wish you could get better region stats than just this. Like, I want, I want a layout like this, but for the region. Alright, yeah, let's put our, let's put our, this thing over here. Oh, we we're also going to have the academy in this city. That's right. I don't suppose we need to have the academy because we have an academy already. What wealth levels you should have for different specializations? Well, Plank and German, the um, the only one that it terribly matters for is uh, two, I should say, are Omega and Academy. If you're specializing in Academy, you need lots of high wealth because they're the ones that that run your um, your little Academy things. And if you're doing um, Omega, you want low tech industrial because uh, tech is kind of the wealth level of industrial. Uh, because low tech industrial converts easier and makes more Omega franchise profits. Other than that, um, the specialization doesn't terribly matter because, like computers, you need uh, high wealth workers or not high wealth workers. Excuse me, you need highly educated workers, um, and medium and high wealth tend to go to school a little bit better, but that's arguable. And um, if you do uh, like mining and stuff, those tend to use a little bit more low wealth, but not by a ton. So it's it's to say it's relatively the same no matter what you go, unless you're talking about Omega or Academy. There we go, let's do that. And then can I go... Well, let me do a diagonal. Well, let me do a curve from that stub. Oh, look at that. There. Hello, YOLO guy. Let's see here. I wonder if I can fit both recycling and 
garbage down here. I think I might have to make this corner. Oh, uh, Plank and German, you can all of a sudden be short on workers if your industry pops up, but I've never seen it happen that way if my residential all of a sudden pops up. Usually, you know, obviously it's the other way around. You have more workers because you have more residential. Now, if I put my cycling right here, here, do I have enough room? Put one of these on, and one of these will be out here. Do I have enough room for my garbage dump right here with all four add ons? And I should. That curve slightly. Right there, I should. Three. Damn. Oh, it's not what I wanted. So I guess we're going to have to do this the other way. It's a good thing I have a bunch of money. So we're going to need to take this. out far enough, like here. I think it's right there. In order to fit the fourth one of these. And I was totally wrong. Here's what I should just do. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Yeah, um, you had a college, but not university. That might be why it wouldn't tech up. Um, I've noticed that it seems to take a lot more tech than you would think for a building. And sometimes leaving and coming back helps because it doesn't want to pop. Like, it'll sit there at full tech and just never turn over. Because I, I don't know if you watched any of the Let's Plays that I was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course you watched the Let's Plays this weekend. I, I had that, that first city that I was doing was like that. This should put the last one right up against the thing. Yeah, just like that. It's just what I was looking for. Because then this will go right here with a metal and two alloys. And we'll edit this to have a little bit more space, just because we can. There. Now we do one last thing here. After we put these on. And that's to turn this road this way. Mm. 
<clears throat> and see how far we can get with our, um, oh, wait, never mind, it doesn't matter, because we can do them on the other side of the road. Because we're going to put our um, trade depot back here. Which is under this menu. But do I want it facing this way is the question. I almost want to turn it back around on here. But I don't know if I have enough room to do that. Oh, we're in daylight now, so we can pause it again. Forgot I was running. Tommy, that option is totally up to you about what you get as far as a game and or a cell phone. But um, you can totally get both. See, and I don't think I have enough room here because it's going to skim that ex the building. Shit. That's... Maybe I can get just a little bit closer. Ah, oh, roads on the map. I don't, yeah, see, I think I was pretty much at optimal distance. Yep, we're just going to catch the very edge of it. Damn. All right. There we go. And then this is going to end up being wasted space then, which I'm slightly annoyed at, but I don't know what else I can do. I wish I could just put a lot over here, you know, just put one over there. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. You can do it like this at least, so it fills up the area a little bit better. Need a metal, an alloy, and a plastic. <laughs> yeah, blank in German. I was uh, like a junior or something in high school before I got a phone. And even then, it was one of the old Nokia candy bars, you know, and <laughs> had Snake, and that's about it, <laughs> you know, besides calling people. Then again, I also went to high school when pagers were actually a thing, so... <laughs> Place our trucks and, as usual, turn things off until we need them. These uh, dump zones. Oh, they do cost money. They're, they're free to place, that's right. They cost 200 an hour, though, so. We will turn them off until needed. Leave this very end one on. Or no, wait, here, we'll just leave this one on and we'll turn the rest of these off. And turn these off. 
And then we'll go in here and we'll actually use up some of this space because we'll do this. Actually, I can use up all the space. I have a great idea. I have a little service road that comes out in the middle here. And I think that's enough room to put some of these on. Yeah. Just like that. There, used up some space. And then we have a little bit of space here, but I'll, I can find something for that. So now we have that in. What do we want to do for power? We have several options. And I don't do wind power very often, so maybe I'll do wind power up here. Because I think the wind is blowing fairly strong. I don't know if it'll tell me. Hmm, doesn't tell me. But while we're out here, let's buy from the region. <clears throat> but let's actually do that. Let's do some um, wind power. Because why not? And I believe that these still fit in. Oh, maybe they don't. I thought they were going to fit in on this side as well, but I think they're still too wide. So I'll have to move it. Maybe there. Oh, I guess they give you a wind distribution map now? Interesting. I mean, it's all dark blue on mine, but... Let's see, how do we want to do these? We get 24 of them. So let's go... Too high. And then we'll do a cross here. And then we'll go, oops. So this side is just going to be filled, basically filled up. But then this side, I want it to be one, two, and then I think we can draw a line and then one more. Oops. Yeah, and then we can have a line going this way. And this line goes this way. This one goes this way. And then this one. Let's see, I th these are exactly square, right? Yeah. So I'll have to use one of these to figure out the distance here. and then move it. No, I can connect. That doesn't hurt anything. And that is about all we can fit in this city.
However, I think it looks pretty good. Plus, we, I, I wasn't sure what to do with that part of the, the land there. And I guess I have the same problem over here. Because I have this strip of land. You know, and that might have actually been better for... Shit, I should have thought about that. That would have been better for the power over here. Well, I won't bulldoze it yet till I see if I like this one. Does one work? No, looks like I need to do it too. Let's see how far this takes us. Hey, there's a tornado disaster. I have all the disasters now. Okay, and that's not quite enough. So that's 10. Which means if I did this side, we'd have 20. But in order to fit that other four, I think I actually want to take this one out. Oh wait, no, I wanted to leave that for a minute. Shit. No, I still want to leave it completely, but I want to go this way. So close. There it is. There. Now we can figure out something else to do with this area. And as usual, we'll turn off a good chunk of these. like what three of three of them generating to start with 
Actually, with these, they put out... They, got, they put out a good amount of power, though. Like, we could probably get away with... One. No, uh, two. No, we'll do one to start with, just because we can. And it looks like we're at our hour mark. So it looks like we've got the basis for our um, our uh, population in. I, I think we'll, we'll use this area to do our water and sewage and stuff, and, and maybe supplemental power if we feel like it. Um, see what else we need to fit in there and, uh, and what else we want to do here. So hope you guys have enjoyed the Midway region so far. We, uh, we're about halfway done, maybe. Um, right about halfway, because we've got this whole uh, large section over here. Um, so I guess we're actually a little bit more than halfway done, so we'll make our, our uh, space center over here and we'll do something something really cool. So if you like to watch what I do live, you can follow me on Twitch and uh, you'll be notified whenever I start streaming. And of course, if you all want to catch it up on YouTube, you can uh, follow me on or subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified when I post videos there so you can catch up on the series. Uh, in any event, I hope you've enjoyed so far and I hope to see you next time.